Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the e.l.f. holiday lip sets. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. I purchased three different lip sets on e.l.f.'s website. The first lip set I purchased is the Gimme Some Sugar Lip Balm. The next lip set is called You Better Not Pout. The last lip set I purchased is called the Candy Coated Lip Set. This set retails for $10 on e.l.f. online. I do want to read a little bit about this set. It includes four of our best-selling lip glosses and lacquers for the ultimate high shine luscious lips. It's a $14 value for $10. It also says gloss help plump and nourish the lips, enriched with vitamin E and coconut oil, perfect size for on-the-go glam, shimmering shades with a sheer wash of color. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says e.l.f. candy coated lip set and then you have this little retail sticker here. This little sticker you can just peel off if you just want to give it as a gift. This little sticker is there. I'm just gonna leave it on. Here are what the four shades look like and then on the back it tells you a little description and then you have the ingredients. So let's go ahead and open this up. Again you do get two lip lacquers and two lip plumping glosses. I've never tried their glosses before or their lip lacquers. shade is called clear and you do have the shade name on the bottom. You also like the double sided applicator. As expected it is a clear gloss. I'm going to press my lips together. Getting that little stickiness. Taking my makeup wipe. I'm just going to wipe the inside. There we go. No more stickiness. The next lip lacquer is called Fantasy. I'm surprised that the shade in Fantasy doesn't look as glossy as the shade in Clear. This shade in Fantasy is cute. I wish it was a bit more glossier like the Clear Gloss, but let's see what the next shade looks like. Next shade is called Mauve Glitz, and this is a lip plumping gloss. Again, it's not as shiny as the clear one. I'm not sure if it's the sparkles that's in it. I'm getting a slight tingling sensation. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I don't like tingling sensation products. But this tingling sensation did not hurt. It just tingled just a little bit. It was like a peppermint tingle, but it wasn't something that was stinging or burning. The last product is a lip plumping gloss. This is in the shade Mocha Twist. I think I've tried this before. Mocha Twist is so beautiful. I do feel a bit of that tingling sensation. It's not super pigmented, which is kind of a downside. On e.l.f.'s website, these three shades retail for $3, while the shade in Mocha Twist, it retails for $6. If you do purchase each of these separately, you are going to be spending $15 versus paying $10 with this set. Moving on to the next holiday lip set. This set is called You Better Not Pout. It's a five-piece lip set. What it does say on e.l.f.'s website, get a delicious, plump, pout, and sultry, glossy lips. It's five-piece lip gloss set. It's a $21 value for $15, and it includes their best-selling lip glosses and lip lacquer and lip plumping glosses. Formulated with lip-loving ingredients for the perfect pout. Glosses can be used alone or layered. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. Super cute. I love how they use a little plastic to create like a little candy or a little treat. Purchase this for $15, but it's supposed to be a $21 value. Let's open this up. Here's what all five products look like. So we're going to start with the first one. I love how these are packaged. It's kind of wasteful. First shade is called Pink Sugar. So you just unwrap it like so. I wish they would have filled it up all the way. Pink Sugar has a little bit of a pink reflect to it. Very pretty. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. Do you guys see it? It's got oh, that little bit of pink reflect. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful gloss, but I really wish they would have added more pink reflect. I'm going to press my lips together. 
I cannot feel any of the glitter specks. I like pink sugar, it's cute. Let's see what the next gloss looks like. This shade is called Praline. It's another pretty gloss. Praline has a little bit more pigmentation than the shade in Mocha. Praline is at the top and Mocha Twist is at the bottom. I'm gonna swatch the shade in Mocha Twist side by side next to Praline so you guys can see the difference. You guys can see that the shade in Praline is a little bit more pigmented than the shade in Mocha Twist. With the shade in Praline, there is a little bit of a tingling sensation. It doesn't burn at all, but it's just like a little bit of a sting. I'm gonna remove the shade in Mocha Twist. The next shade is called Honey Rose. This is their lip lacquer. This shade does have a little bit of sparkle to it, a little bit of pink and purple reflex. Honey Rose is a very pretty shade. The next shade is called Berry Kiss. I really do like the shade in Berry Kiss. I wish it was a bit more pigmented. The last shade is called Confetti. This is a lip lacquer. It does have a little bit of blue and pink reflex to it. Confetti is another cute gloss. I do like the pink caps versus the previous collection where it has the white caps. It seems a little bit more simple. Three out of the five shades already exist in their current collection. The three shades are Pink Sugar, Praline, and Berry Kiss. These retail for $6 each. These two are brand new shades in their collection, so Honey Rose and Confetti are not available on their website. And the last lip set we're gonna be trying is the Gimme Some Sugar Lip Balm. This set retails for $10 on ELF's website. It does say trio of our holy grail or dye lip balms to keep your pout protected from day to night. The set includes one free lip balm, a $15 value for $10. It's infused with jojoba oil and vegan collagen, repairs dry lips, adds a sheer wash of color, and it comes in three delicious scents, cherry, cookies, and mint. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. You get three different lip balms, and then on the back, it tells you a little bit about it. I love this little holographic. It's adorable. The first shade is called Tough Cookie. It is so cute. On the back, it says your lips ride or die bestie. 100% vegan and cruelty free. Comes with a safety seal. I'm just gonna dot a little bit on the back of my hand. I was not expecting that much pigmentation. It's very thick. Oh wow. I love how comfortable this formula feels on my lips. It feels very moisturizing. I love the texture. I can't stop rubbing my lips together. I love this. The next shade is called Mighty Mint. It's so cute. It has the shade names on the bottom. Again, it has a safety seal. It's another thick formula. Mighty Mint smells minty. I know I mixed it in with the other swatches. Ooh, it's so shiny. I love how shiny and comfortable this lip balm looks and feels on my lips. I think this might be my new favorite chapstick. The last lip balm shade is called Cheeky Cherry. I'm not sure what happened. It 
Oh wow, this does have a cherry scent to it. it smells very good. I would have preferred the shade in Cheeky Cherry to have a little bit more pigmentation since it's very comfortable on my lips. I really do like these lip balms. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.